Hello, my name is Misael Ayuso, and I'm from Belize. I want to share with you my testimony. It started with Jesus Deaf Church. When I was around five years old, I went to a school called St. Peter's. That's where all the deaf students from my area go for school. Nancy Marshall at the time was the teacher and the interpreter. She taught the deaf class, and it was really great. It was good to socialize with other deaf peers and to learn sign language from Nancy and from them. Nancy then set up a deaf church in her house. Many different deaf went, including my older sister who's deaf. I didn't know about it at the time when I was young. But then later, my sister, Yelitsa, invited me to go. I remember the first time I went in. There was many deaf there that I had never met before. Some kids, some adults, and some teens. I met a lot of them. Nancy preached and taught us some things. They needed a volunteer at the church to help set up and clean, and I volunteered. Later, Nancy brought Nathaniel Davis from the United States to Belize to work with the deaf. I remember when I first met Nathaniel, we chatted and discussed things. He taught me things, and he stayed for one year teaching me many things and helping with the church, along with setting up the church and cleaning the church with me. After that year's time, Nathaniel and his family went back to the United States. Nancy continued to run the church for another year, and then Nathaniel returned to Belize, and Nancy left and gave the responsibility of the church to Nathaniel. And I continued to support him by setting up and cleaning the church. Now I want to tell you about how I became a Christian. Before, when I was around 16 years old, I started to work with Nathaniel. And he taught me many deep things about the Bible and becoming a Christian. He encouraged me, but I really didn't feel ready at first. I refused. After a long time, he continued to teach me and talk to me about becoming a Christian. But I continued to say I didn't want to do it. I wasn't ready. Sometimes I wasn't clear on some things, and Nathaniel would explain those things to me and teach me to help me to understand. I said that I wanted to become a Christian, but I still wasn't ready. Nathaniel was patient and waited for that. I also saw some of the other deaf and their lives as Christians. I remember when I decided to be ready, I was at home, and Nathaniel texted me and asked me if I was ready. I said I was. I went to his house. We sat down together. And he asked me many deep questions about becoming a Christian, a disciple of Christ. I answered those questions and then we prayed together and I became a disciple of Christ and a Christian. Now I want to talk a little bit more about the ministry that I do with Jesus Deaf Church. Nathaniel taught me how to drive and now it's my responsibility to go and pick up the deaf before church. And then after church I drop them off. I really enjoy that. Nathaniel has also taught me how to preach and I've enjoyed learning to preach, and I enjoy preaching. And now Nathaniel and I take turns for preaching. I also lead the church. That means that I stand up front, and as different people have different responsibilities, such as prayer or whatever, I invite them up. During the week, I go and visit death and do devotions with them and explain more about the Bible and teach them so they can understand more. I really enjoy doing that. For some time, Nathaniel went back to the United States, and I took the responsibility of running the church for a little bit of time. And that was recently, and it went really good. Now, you may have heard of YWAM. YWAM is Youth With a Mission. And you might wonder what they do if you haven't heard of them. It's really a training school. They offer training to the whole world to learn about ministry training. Right now I'm with several other students. I'm not the only one. There's some from Europe, United States, and other places. At YWAM so far we've learned about God, who He is, His character, and His presence. We have different topics every week 
and now I'm just starting the second week, and I'm really enjoying my time here. What's important for me to share with you is that the cost is high, and I need to earn that money. It's around 500 US a month, which is around 2,500 for the whole time. So if God lays it on your heart to support this endeavor, please do. Thank you.